Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. In today's video we're gonna flip through one of my old sketchbooks. This is another one of the sketchbooks I filled in 2016. It's one of the paper blanks ones and I really enjoyed this one because of its size and little clasp not closing at the moment because I clipped some pages together but normally it would close. And I really liked the size and how handy this little book was. So I started with the quote and this was the book of May 2016. It was the year I tried to fill one sketchbook each month. It was a challenge I did set myself to uh, create more and to loosen up, to get some sketchbooks filled for uh, practice for art school. I was preparing my portfolio and needed to include sketchbooks into my portfolio. And before that, I didn't really had any sketchbooks filled from front to back. So. I challenged myself in the year to fill a sketchbook each month, once to, like I said, loosen up and not pressure each page and once to really get going and complete one. Uh, you will see throughout this sketchbook, this is the last sketchbook I did in the year. Um, or this is a sketchbook where I fell off the habit for, for a bit. So my May sketchbook didn't really got finished. Here are some mood boards for, uh, for a piece I was working on, some research I was doing and some concept sketches, more concept sketches, uh, a quote from Alice in Wonderland from the Tim Burton movie, another quote and a photo of a model I built for a stage. Um, a little collage. I really like this one. I think the idea was quite good. Yeah, um, in this sketchbook I got accepted into art school. That's why I, at the end, fell a bit off the habit of completing it. Uh, I really like this uh, song by Captain Peng. Yeah, draw some frames and I did experiment a bunch with fabric paint in this uh, in this sketchbook. Uh, it was a time where I did color quite a bit of, uh, of clothes and uh, I really liked to bring this to, to paper as well, this kind of color and it's like a bit of a more intense watercolor kind of. This are all drawings with aquarelle. And here I included a few of my sample dye fabric scraps. I really like those. Another little drawing. Can you see that on the camera? I don't know how well. These light pencil sketches are... Ah, here is the original drawing. So here, this one you will definitely be able to see. And now we come to the, the part where I kind of fell a little bit off some pattern studies. And here you can see quite a few empty pages, some more paint samples for some fabric to, to dye in skin color the thing I had to do, some more experimental with fabric paint on paper, some photography concepts I really liked. I just collected kind of in these books as well everything that interests me in a way in these times and now yeah here you can see quite a few pages were empty and stayed empty. Another little sketch uh, because I kind of flip-flopped around in these books, didn't do them consistently from the first page to the last page because I already limit myself to 
fill the book in a month, so I felt like I didn't have to limit myself with the structure as well. And uh, in this one, yeah, like I already mentioned, I fell off the habit of pressuring myself to really complete the book because I was accepted in this month, I was accepted into art school. So I kind of I had the opportunity to loosen up a bit and to finally relax a bit more. But I really liked the challenge and I would definitely want to try it again, like I said in my first old sketchbook tour video of this kind of books from 2016. I think it would be really, really interesting to find out um, how I would fill a sketchbook like this in a month nowadays that I'm finished with art school. Yeah, I liked <laughs> collage -y kind of stuff. And here another bunch of... Oh, no, not completely empty. Started drawing some more sketches, some more fortage. This is actually the cover of one of my other sketchbooks. Mm, some rough sketches, some more rough fast sketches. Um, as well as this was all drawn uh, while I was sitting in the theater, so it was dark. I was not, I couldn't see what I was doing with the, those. Uh, but I thought it would be an interesting practice for a blind drawing, kind of. Some more fast portraits. Some doodles, more doodles, yeah. And this is kind of, yeah, that's the end of the sketchbook. Some more empty pages, yeah, like I said, I'm, I didn't pressure myself in the end of this one really to, to fill it up. But uh, it's kind of, yeah, I'm a little bit sad about it because I would have been interested if maybe the uh, lost pressure of having to to make something that I would present in a portfolio would have changed the outcome of my drawings or my art. That would have been interesting to see. So this was one of my collages again. I kind of fell back into the habit of collaging quite a bit just because the pressure of having to to make something perfect and to show that I could draw was kind of lifted and I felt quite nice. <laughs> Collected some textures and my summer bucket list for 2016. Yeah, even though this sketchbook has quite a bit of holes in them or like spaces of empty pages, I really, really like this one. This kind of has to be maybe my favorite, uh, despite all, all the ones I filled in 2016 in the challenge, kind of. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to join me on my creative journey, hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you.